What is up guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we did just pick up our brand spanking new 20, actually this is officially my first literally brand new vehicle. I, the Ram technically had, the Longhorn technically had like 4,000 miles on it. It was a new truck, but technically it was a dealer vehicle that had been driven, so it technically wasn't new. But this is technically like my first truck. I picked it up, it had literally no mileage on it. Pretty cool. But we're gonna get the first upgrade for this truck installed. Now we do a lot of traveling. We're gonna go do some turkey hunting, some fishing. We travel down here a lot to visit her parents, um, back and forth and all that stuff. And it's kind of important to be able to keep your cargo dry and out of the elements because nobody likes packing a bag of clothes and when you get there it's all soggy, smells like mildew and it's nasty because you didn't have a bed cover on your truck and then all your gear gets soaked in the rain because it's spring and it's raining a lot. So what are we gonna do today, Reagan? What's the plan? We are going to put a bed cover on there. A bed cover, we're gonna be putting a bed cover on the 2019 Ram 3500 Limited. Let's get this truck pulled in. Here she is. And we've got some big plans for this truck too, guys. Don't think that this is just gonna be kept stock with a ton of cover. We've got wheels on the way, tires on the way, lift kit stuff on the way. We've got delete and tune stuff on the way. Like we've got a bunch on the way and just super freaking stoked and cannot wait to show you guys the end product. Well, I don't know if you can see me, let's get around here. No need to actually hold those heavy tailgates and overwork yourself these days, you know. So we've got this bed here with no hitch in the back because it's a dually. You don't want to overwork a dually. There's too much tire weight back there. You don't want to overwork the truck. So what we're going to be doing is putting a bed cover on this to put our groceries in the back so that we don't get our, you know, boxes of donuts and eggs and stuff like wet because that would be bad. I believe it is a backflip brand kit for the bed. They said that the bed dimensions are pretty much the same as the fourth gens. Also guys, do not forget, you guys are running out of time to enter to win our 2002 Ram 3500 Dually. It's a 24 valve, 140,000 miles, six speed manual, four wheel drive, rust free, beautiful, beautiful truck. I'll pop up a picture of it right here next to me. I mean, the thing is just Beautiful. If you guys want to check it out, information is in the description below. And for as little as $15, just go to the website, buy something like a hat, a t-shirt, a hoodie, a couple items. The more you spend, the more entries you get. Every $15 is another entry to win that truck. And it ends May 13th. Not as much time as you think. It's just hardly over two weeks and then that giveaway is gone and over with. So do not miss out on your chance to win a dream truck. We did get the bed cover installed and I gotta say, it looks looks pretty good. Here's the final fit and finish. It's a hard cover. Looks really good. It's, we're gonna open our own up here. And we did have to fabricate, as you saw in the video, we did have to fabricate this bracket a little bit. This is for, I believe this is for a fourth gen. It said for 2019, but they clearly weren't uh, cut quite the right length, so we had to modify it. It's not a big deal. We just had to take a grinder, cut about an inch off. You just pull this latch, and it folds up. And then uh, you're technically supposed to have the bed tailgate closed. Once the tailgate's closed, then it just drops down and locks up. Nice thing about that is nobody can get under your tonic cover unless they have the keys to your truck to unlock your tailgate first. So, makes it kind of cool, kind of neat. It looks good, it's nice and flush with the bed. And uh, honestly, it really is a really good look for the truck. And I'm pretty excited about it, honestly. I think it looks pretty good. Oh, almost hit my truck. Oh my gosh. What is up, loud and proud crowd? Okay guys, so let's go through the build concept behind this truck here, if you guys can see me all right. So, in terms of what we're gonna be doing to this truck, if I can focus you in on me right here. The idea and concept behind this truck is gonna be aggressive, make a bold statement, but I don't want it to be completely unusable. Now when I say that, for example, the Longhorn, my 2018 that I just traded in for this beast, it was an awesome truck, a lot of fun. I'm not gonna complain about how cool the truck was. It was an awesome truck, but it was just a little bit to the size to where it was still usable but it was almost a nuisance to use sometimes just because it was so big. Like, 
Mom couldn't hardly get in the truck. It was a pain in the butt. I couldn't take my grandpa for a ride in that truck ever since I lifted it. Those are just a couple examples. I don't need to say any more to understand, help you guys understand just how it just kind of like affected the daily usability of it. But in terms of that, the truck was just a little bit too big. Now I'm not saying we're not ever gonna go big with this truck because it is nice. It does have amp research steps already, which is already a huge upgrade compared to what we had with the Longhorn. We didn't have any steps at all. It was just kind of like you put your arm up there, you grab the handle and you try to pull yourself up which was nice that I didn't even had the handles to begin with, but it was just a little bit much to daily use, so I mostly just drove my car. Now with this truck, let's go over the actual plans that we're actually gonna be doing with this truck. You guys can let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the idea and what you would change, if there's something you would change, but I'm just gonna fire away what I have planned for the truck right now. So in terms of wheels and tires, what we're thinking about going with, I've already got it all added to my cart, and I'm about to call custom offset to actually place the order on this stuff. And what I'm thinking about going with is a 20 by 10 fuel Maverick chrome, fully chrome wheel, not like a black lip chrome um, spokes, like a fully chrome wheel for the front, and then a 20 inch chrome fuel Maverick wheel with a negative 265 millimeter offset for the rear of the truck. We're gonna give it that nice beefy wide look, stick it outside the fenders about three, four inches in the rear and it's gonna look really good. This truck's gonna sit about nine feet wide. Pretty stoked about that. But in terms of the front end, the reason why we're gonna go with a 20 by 10 and not like a 20 by 12 or 20 by 14 or 22 by 14 is because I don't want rubbing issues. And since I'm gonna keep this truck more daily drivable, I want it to be a daily drivable, usable truck. So I don't really wanna have rubbing issues on the front end because like it's okay if it's like a truck you rarely drive, but when I'm gonna drive this truck more, how annoying is rubbing Reagan? Like when you really like, when it's so unusable that every time you lock your wheel, you're just ripping fenders off and balances on the bumpers. Like it's just, like it's cool for pictures and stuff, but it really just, it's really annoying sometimes. And it really just gets on your nerves when every time you drive your truck, you have to go get a zip tie to hold your balance back up because it freaking rips it off again. We're gonna go with the 10 wide up front. We're not gonna run the dually adapters on this though. And we're going to be putting 35 by 1250 Nitto MTs all the way around. So it's gonna look really good. Same tire that I had on my 2018. The difference is, instead of a 375 wide and 35 inches tall, we're gonna be doing a 12 and a half wide with a 35 inch tall tire. So it's still gonna have that nice height. It's gonna still have that nice beefy look. And the tires for the front with a 20 by 10 are probably gonna stick out about two inches, two and a half inches, but that's okay. It's gonna give it that nice aggressive look and in the rear it's gonna stick out quite a bit, as I already mentioned. In terms of power for this truck, we're actually gonna be doing front probably the whole shebang. You guys kinda know what I did to my Longhorn. It had a lot of attitude going down the road and it was, it just sounded grumpy. That's the concept that we're gonna go for this. You guys can put that in two words however you would like but that's what we're gonna be doing to this truck and it's gonna be really cool. In terms of other stuff under the hood, we're probably gonna keep it fairly basic to start out with. We're still gonna just kinda of do your basic stuff like your intake upgrades and stuff like that just so the thing can breathe better because the intakes on these aren't great. They kinda of suck a little bit, at least the intake elbow for sure. So we're gonna upgrade some of that kind of stuff so it can have better airflow, more breathability, and just really use up that power that it already has but actually get to make the most of it versus you know just doing the basic work on these and you still run all the factory parts under the hood to try to make it work and then it still runs longer than it would factory but it really just it's really still choked up a little bit with those factory and take parts so that's what we're going to be doing for that i'm not sure exactly what we're going to run probably easy link or efi live i'm not exactly sure i know that i called the shop that i normally get the work done at and they said that they had just got one of these done so far since it came out already and he's like it was no problem. Everything was the exact same and it was very easy to do. And he's like, we can get your truck in as soon as possible. That's kind of the concept and plan for this truck and what we're gonna be doing with it. Like I said, wheels and tires, stuff under here and back there on the passenger side. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't need to say anything more. And in terms of the suspension to be able to clear those 35 by 1250s and 20 by 10 in the front, um, basically what we're gonna be doing is just a two and a half inch rough country front leveling spacer kit with new shocks that are actually um, supposed to be for a truck with a two and a half inch kit on it so that it still rides a little bit better than, you know, just trying to stretch your stock shocks just a little bit more to make them work. They really just aren't quite perfect. They work and they're fine, but they're just, 
not quite the same as actually having a proper shot. That's pretty much the gist of it besides like tint, which we're gonna get done. But other than that, that's what we're gonna do. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What do you think of the build plans? Do you think it's a good plan? Do you not think it's a good plan? Let me know down in the comment section below because I'm freaking stoked to get working away on this truck and making it just a freaking monster. I mean, it's gonna be freaking so cool. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not forget to enter to win our 2002 24 valve Cummins. It's a six speed manual, four wheel drive, 140,000 miles, ARP head studs, SMB intakes, not a bunch of big hot rodded out tuners and injectors and turbo, stuff like that. So it's it runs really good. Engine runs super clean, five inch exhaust on it, no rust on the truck. It's a dually with a flatbed. I'll leave a picture of it right here in front of the grill of this uh, fifth gen. And it, it's just a freaking sweet truck. If you guys wanna see more information on it, information is in the description below. If you guys are running out of time to enter to win that truck, it ends May 13th at 11.59 p.m. and then the giveaway for that truck is over. Information in the description below. Every $15 is another entry to win that truck. Thank you guys so much. Leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below. Subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.